Jamie Dilwig runs every day to keep her mind free and clear. It's the one constant in her life. For the past 20 years, she has lived with the symptoms of PMDD, or premenstrual dysphoric disorder. She first noticed them back in college. It was so obvious that I was going to feel good at a certain time of the month, and then I just knew what was coming, and then I wasn't going to feel very good mentally. About what was coming was an increase in appetite, weight gain, irritability, night sweats, cramps and feeling bloated. But PMDD turns out to be less about bodily symptoms and more about mood and behavior. But is PMDD caused by a lack of hormones like estrogen and progesterone? Dr. David Rubino, psychiatry department chair in the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill School of Medicine, specializes in women's reproductive health. He has found that normal hormonal changes during the menstrual cycle can produce symptoms, but only in some women. So it appears, therefore, that once the body starts producing these hormones to, uh, to a result in a large level, um, the brain responds in vulnerable women by producing this behavioral syndrome. His studies also show that changes in these hormones and not in their levels trigger PMDD symptoms. That is what we did is we took women and we shut off their ovarian hormones for three months and we blindly added back the hormones. And what we found is that when we added back the hormones, the syndrome was triggered, but then the syndrome got better and there were no subsequent symptoms over the next three months. The, the trick was finding how to stabilize hormones to prevent the changes. Rubino now heads a National Institute of Mental Health clinical trial that uses birth control pills to stabilize those levels. So we reasoned if we can stabilize the hormones with an oral contraceptive in the same way that we did by shutting off the ovaries and by adding back um, exogenous or externally administered hormones, then we ought to be able to prevent the reappearance of PMS after the initial episode of adding the hormone. Women are randomized to either take the pill as a 28-day dose continuously, the standard 21-7 regimen, or a placebo. Jamie was in the 14-week study and is grateful for the research being done. After all, every month is a reminder that PMDD is very real. And on day five, it's like the world clears and I'm, and I'm back. It's, it's like the bloating's finally gone, the appetite is back to normal, um, no discomfort, um, pressure cramps, anything like that. Um, the weight has slipped back off and I'm, and I'm feeling good again. I'm Stephanie Creighton reporting.